Hello everyone, how are you today? Today we will study page 64, it's lesson 26. Uh, today we will study some many adjectives. Well actually, you know what? Adjectives, there are many adjectives. But here, uh, simply, uh, they can categorize them into two groups, like base adjective and strong adjectives. But it's just to give you some clear concept. But in reality, it's on like a line, you know, gradation. So one adjective is a little bit stronger than another, and a little bit stronger, stronger, stronger like this. So the meaning is gradually increasing, like a little bit emphasized more and more and more. So you can't really say, oh, this one goes to base adjective. Oh, this one goes to strong adjective. It's not like that, but it's just for giving you a clear concept, okay? Well, and here, well, if you put some intensifying adverb plus some base adjectives, then actually that makes strong adjectives. 그러니까 뭐 강조하는 말하고 simple한 form의 adjective를 섞으면 강한 뜻이 되는 거죠. For example, if you say just good, then it's quite simple. But if you say, oh, it's very good, then what is the same as great? Great or very good. So great is a kind of strong adjective. So we just categorize them into two, okay? But uh, before we uh, start number two in page 64, uh, let's check what kinds of intensifying adverbs are there. Well, of course, we all know very, very. 매우 이 정도가 되는 거죠. Uh, very 같은 경우에는 uh, you can use very uh, with base adjective. 그냥 평범한, 그냥 가장 간단한 form의 adjective를 uh, 수식할 때 very를 쓴다. 그리고 좀 strong한 word하고는 좀안 어울리는 경향이 있다. Of course, uh, it is not grammatically, uh, it is not grammatically wrong. Well, even if you put just very plus strong adjectives, it's still right grammatically. But in collocation-wise, it feels a little bit awkward. That's all. 좀 어색스럽다, 이 정도예요. So I recommend that you listen a lot, read a lot, so you kind of pick up uh, this language just naturally. So if you hear some combination, like very and exhausted, you might feel, mm, maybe it's a bit weird. Maybe it's a bit awkward, like this. Well, you, I recommend uh, you don't memorize all the details. Just naturally pick up the language. Okay, that's what I recommend. 많이 듣고, 그냥 많이 읽어서 자연스럽게 습득하는 게 좋겠어요. 그냥 이건 이거, 이건 이거. 이렇게 막 memorize. 어떤 formula 공식처럼 하시면 uh, it only gives you stress and pressure and a lot of burden. So uh, just pick up the language. Just acquire them uh, naturally. Anyway, so uh, before we start this number two, I will let you know the intensifying adverbs. Like first one is very. Well, like I said, very is used for just base adjective. And like really and extremely. Absolutely, or definitely, well, these words, well, you can use these intensifying adverbs with strong adjectives. And this one, very, it only uh, is used with base form, base adjective. But as for really, it can use it for both like strong and base, what well really uh, can be used for both. And extremely, absolutely, definitely, actually there are a lot more than this. Well, for example, like totally. Well, it's totally different, or she's totally blind, like this. So you emphasizing totally and utterly or even like deeply. 
Well, actually, it's almost impossible to just uh, uh, just line them up together. It's almost impossible because there are too many, and you can't really say, "Oh, this one is for this. This one is for this." So we just get the ideas only. Okay, and deeply. Uh, yes, we just did it. So these words, but here the thing is, one adverb goes with uh, one adjective better than another. So you just, like I said, you just listen and read a lot. For example, if you say, like this one, I was deeply moved, then yes, it makes sense. 깊이 감명 받았어. But you don't really say, I am deeply hungry. 깊이 배고파. 이러진 않죠? 그래서 이 combination을 많이 듣고 그냥 자연스럽게 습득 이렇게 하는 게 좋겠어요. Anyway, uh, these are just intensifying, emphasizing adverbs. Okay, well, here, number two, the question says, put a base adjective from the box next to a strong adjective below. Here, in the box, there are only uh, base adjectives. There are many, and we are supposed to put each base one to uh, this categories. Well here, base adjective column and strong adjective column. And in strong adjective columns there are many words and for each line we should put base adjective. Okay? 그러니까 그것의 근원이 되는, 뿌리가 되는 가장 간단한 포에 형용사를 집어넣어 주면 되겠어요. 자 그러면 아, 여기 물론 base adjective에다가 뭐 이런 단어들을 섞어서 강조해주는 부사 섞으면 그러면 strong adjective가 되는 거죠. 자, 1, 첫 번째 거, good이 나와요. Well, good is quite simple, isn't it? But a strong word, strong adjective for good is like great. Mm, it's not easy. Oh, no, it's, it's not difficult. And wonderful, okay, fantastic, and superb. Superb is a very good it's the same, superb. And there are only four strong adjectives in this chart for good, but I kind of want to add more. Actually, there are more than four, right? So, uh, for example, for good, it's just base one. And for strong ones, okay, excellent. Or splendid. Well, you can use splendid as well. Like, for example, uh, I'm going to make some cookies. Then you can say, oh, great, fantastic, or splendid, like this. Oh, it's a great idea. Okay, give me some cookies. So splendid and awesome. That's awesome. That means that's very good, fantastic. And Another word for this is like first rate. Well, if you describe some quality of some products, then you can say it's first rate. 1등급이야, like this. First rate and marvelous. That means very good. And fabulous. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, I had really fabulous time last night, something like that. Okay, and um, next one, tired here. Tired. I will just erase this part. Okay, tired. Well, as for tired, tired can mean actually two things. The first one is like, fatigue, like physical fatigue, then uh, you are physically really tired. So I will let you know both, like fatigue. If it's about fatigue, like 피로한 거죠, fatigue 하면, 피로한 것과 관련돼서 만약에 tired를 쓰게 되면, uh, for example, here, exhausted. You are exhausted, like you are worn out. 
or even drained. Well, actually, the word drain, well, maybe you have heard this word many times uh, when you look at some recipe, well, cooking. Well, okay, for example, making ramen, you boil noodles. And then, oh, not ramen, it's japagetti is more appropriate, I guess. When you make japagetti or something, and you boil noodles and you drain the water. So drain means like uh, you get rid of the liquid by uh, making the liquid flow out of the container. 이렇게 흘러보내는 거 말하는 거죠. 그런데 if you are drained, then something like some energy is just out of your body. So, oh, I'm drained like this. Um, and as for board, well, of course, you can use tired when you are bored of something. Ah, oh, I'm tired of this. I don't like this anymore. Like that. Then you can also say, ah, oh, I am bored. Like, I don't like this anymore. Or, uh, fed up. So, ah, uh, I am fed up with this. Ah, 이제 할 만큼 했어. 지겨워. 이런 식인 거죠. Ah, fed up. Of course, uh, sick of. I am sick of something, or to uh, make it stronger, you use sick and tired of. Well, when you use this expression, like usually you kind of put some feelings, like I am sick and tired of this, like this. Of course, you can say just I am sick of this, I am tired of this, but just put them together the same time, ah, sick and tired of it. Okay, and next one. Uh, there is a tasty. Um, here, actually, um, in strong adjective, it's delicious. Then what is uh, just base form for delicious? Delicious means uh, very tasty. So the base form for delicious is tasty or good tasting. or good tasting. Then the strong, delicious, or uh, you can say yummy, but it's a bit difficult to put yummy in this way or in this way. Well, some people can say mm, maybe yummy is a bit strong word, like it's more than just good tasting. Then maybe you can put uh, yummy in strong adjective category. So, but I think yummy goes this way. Just quite a uh, base form. So yummy and savory. Savory, I think savory goes here. Oh, it's quite savory, yum, 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 like this. Okay, the next one, the fourth one in strong adjective column, it says filthy. Well, filthy, it means very dirty. So, the ba base adjective, dirty. But as for dirty, uh, dirty means a few different things as well. So, I uh, will let you know uh, these different word meanings. Like, the first one is like, just like, here, filthy or messy. Like it's just literally dirty. So uh, it is filled with stains or dirt, spot. So it needs to be cleaned. Then it's dirty. So uh, these words are for the kind of dirty and mean or dishonest. In this case, you can use dirty too. You have such a dirty plan, like this. Well, it's not really like you are just really dirty with stains and dirt. It's not like that. It's just like your plan. You are really mean. You have this dirty plan, like conspiracy. 음모를 세운다든가. 이러면 
dirty plan 이라고 하죠. 또는 dirty play 이런 식으로 많이 쓰잖아요. 그런 게 진짜 더럽게 이렇게 묻히고 와서 하는 건 아니죠. 그래서 dirty 네, 그런 케이스 쓸수 있고요. 만약에 이렇게 되면 뭐 대단히 많을 수가 있겠는데 아, treacherous treacherous and uh, deceitful well here I will okay, here it should be a in here deceitful so you are deceiving people you are mean and the third one is like uh, sometime like stop your dirty jokes then uh, it's quite sexually related then you can say dirty like a uh, long time ago there was a really popular and famous movie what well, do you remember dirty dancing it wasn't really like dirty like stains and dirt it was like kind of sexually uh, suggestive dancing right so 야한 거 그런 거 dirty 라고 하죠 so 야한 농담 하지 마 stop your dirty jokes 이렇게 할수 있죠 네, 고를 때도 아, dirty가 되겠어요 여기에 옵니다 그냥 쓰진 않겠습니다 내용상 <웃음> 내용상 아, 그 다음에요 the next one here in strong adjective terrified terrified that means you are really really scared so for terrified the base form okay here in the box uh, frightened can be the right one 깜짝 놀라고 놀라는 거죠. 무서워하는 거, 특히 그런 거. 아, 그럴 때 frightened and terrified. 오케이. terrified, frightened. You can also say petrified. Well, petrified is you are really scared. You can't move. You got stuck in one place, then you can't even move because you are too scared and afraid. 뭐못 박히다 그 자리에 너무 무서워서 뭐 그런 정도 아주 it's very very strong word. Okay, and of course scared, afraid, or alarmed 이런 것도 있을 수 있겠죠? Or a uh, panicky. A panic 하면 막 당황하는 거죠. So you don't know what to do. <웃음> What should I do? What should I do? Like this. That's panicky. And scared stiff. Well, this is not just one word, uh, but I just let you know because this one is used a lot too. And I don't think it's just base adjective. So I just put here, put it here. So scared stiff. Actually, stiff means like This, uh, you don't move. Like, 딱딱하게 어른 거를 말하는 거죠. So scared stiff. 너무 무서워서. It's quite similar to petrified. You don't move. You are too scared. Okay, and uh, shivers. Well, actually it's noun, but to give you some uh, variety of adjectives and variety uh, of some expressions, I just let you know. Actually, shiver is a noun. And if you have shivers, that means you, uh, your body shakes slightly because you are too cold or you are too scared. 그러면 이렇게, 이렇게 몸이 이렇게 떨리는 거 말하는 거죠? 뭐 전율? 전율이라고 하기엔 좀 그렇고. Uh, when you watch really scary movie, then you can't really move and some kind of shivers running down your spine. Like, <웃음> 목디가 뭐 오싹했다? 뭐이 정도 있죠? 그런 거가 아, 영어로는 shivers가 되겠어요. 오케이. Okay. Oh. Usually you say uh, shivers running down my spine. 이런 식으로 써요. 보통. Running down my spine. 그러니까 등뼈를 타고 이렇게 쭉 내려오는 그런 느낌이다. 이 얘기인 거죠. 네, 그런 표현 또 있을 수가 있겠습니다. 오케이, okay, next one. Starving. Well, starving? Starving means you are really, really hungry. Actually, you are dying. But uh, in this modern society, well, there are not many people starving. But you are just use it to emphasize how hungry you are. Well, if it's, it's just in Africa, then yeah, it's possible. Yeah, you are starving. And actually, there are many people starving there. But 
If it's not Africa, then you just use it to emphasize how hungry you are. So, oh, I'm starving. Like, oh, 나 너무 배고파 죽을 것 같아. Like this. So the base form for this is hungry. Or, well, some expression is like, ah, I could eat a horse. Well, because I am so hungry, I can eat a lot. Maybe, possibly, I could eat one horse. The horse is really huge. It's really big. So you are that hungry. Like, as if you could eat a one horse by yourself. 혼자 그걸 다 먹을 정도로 배가 고프다. 이렇게 표현할 수도 있겠어요. 자, 그러면은 아, hungry 케이스는 한번 써볼까요? Or I could eat a horse. Or sometimes if you are hungry, you can hear some noises from your stomach. Like this, and that yeah, 배에서 소리 난다. Then, well, how do you think uh, you should uh, explain that in English? 한국말로는 야 배에서 소리 나, 꾸르륵 거려. 이렇게 하면 되지만 영어로 it 꾸르륵 이렇게 할수 없잖아요. 그러면 배에서 꾸르륵 소리가 난다. Uh, my stomach rumbles. Uh, rumble 하면 well, when you um, have you heard of like thunderstorm? Yeah, I bet you have. Thunderstorm 일어나면 구궁구궁 이런 것을 rumble 한다고 하죠. 그런데 your stomach rumbles. Rumble 이거예요. In that case, you are very hungry, so your stomach makes noises. Okay, the next one. Horrible. 끔찍한 거죠? Awful. 끔찍한 거죠? Terrible, disgusting. These four are all kind of bad, right? So the basic form for these four strong adjectives is bad. But bad, uh, it's quite general. So uh, I will give you more uh, expressions for that. Horrible, awful, terrible, disgusting, and also Okay, bad, horrible, and repulsive. It's repulsive. Like, oh, 진짜 싫어. 뭐, 좀 혐오스러워. 아니면 불쾌했어. 뭐, 이 정도 있죠? 너무 싫어서. 그럴 때, it was repulsive. 이렇게 할 수도 있어요. Or, it was wicked. 되게 나빴다. 이렇게 쓸 수도 있고요. Or, appalling. Well, appall means uh, it's really, really bad. It kind of shocks you, and you can't move like, <gasps> like this. That's appalling. Like, you, but usually you kind of open your mouth like this. 이런 거 있죠? 뭐 경악했다, 입을 쫙 벌렸다, 뭐 이런 거 있죠? Appalling. Like, it was appalling scene. 이건 정말 it was a horrible scene. It was appalling scene. 이렇게 할수 있어요. Okay, and the next one, thrilled. Delighted. Well, they are all good things. Uh, it's happy, right? But three 하면 뭔가 수리 넘쳤다. 이 정도죠? 기쁘고 이런 건데요. 자, happy 같은 경우에 Well, you can say glad or pleased or even like satisfied. Oh, I am satisfied. 그럴 때쓸 수가 있겠죠? Okay, and the next one, astonished and amazed. Well, you are surprised. You are very surprised. Then, ah, I was astonished or I was amazed. Like, oh, 너무 놀라웠어. 이런 얘기죠? 그러면 the base form for this is surprised. surprised 중에서 좀더 너무 너무 놀랐다 이런 것 중에 어떤 게 있냐면 stunned가 있어요. Like oh I was stunned. Like, 너무 놀라서 할 말을 잃었다 정도예요. So it's like uh, you are really surprised. You don't know what to say or you don't know what to do. Just like this stunned. So sometimes you can describe a person like oh, she's 
stunning. 너무 beautiful 해서 내가 보고 있으니까 I couldn't move. 이런 그런 아름다운 뷰리를 봤다. 이럴 때도 stunning 할수 할수 있고 I was stunned. She was so beautiful. 이렇게 할 수가 있겠어요. 너무 놀랐다. 이런 얘기죠. 자, 그리고 나서 the next one is hilarious. Hilarious means very very funny. Well, maybe some of you guys can remember. It was like several years ago. There was a, like um, there were brothers, like Chun Brothers, 인가요 그때 당시 Chun Brothers 가요 되게 재미있는 그런 동영상을 올려서 한국에서뿐만 아니라 사실 외국 애들도 되게 많이 봤거든요. 그랬을 때 uh, my foreign friends sometimes asked at that time, "Who are these guys? They are really hilarious." Like. 100년 전통의 뭐 이런 거 있잖아요. 그랬을 때 너무 웃겼다. It's hilarious or funny. Funny. 오, 너무 재밌었다. 이럴 때 hilarious 쓸 수가 있겠어요. 그런데 여기서 funny 같은 경우도 아, it can mean a bit different things at the same time. Okay, the first one like here, hilarious. Or amusing, amusing 같은 경우도 제 생각에는 한 베이스 폼 정도가 되지 않을까. 뭐 그다지 strong 거할것 같진 않은데. Well, actually, it depends on individual matter of opinion. 사람마다 견해가 틀리니까요. 자, amusing or humorous, or even silly. Okay, silly. Well, isn't it just stupid? But you can describe it silly, like uh, some comedians like doing some like kind of really really funny things. Then <laughs> that's silly, like this, like you know, 무모한 도전. They did something really stupid, like they uh, compete with train. Train 하고 uh, who can beat the train? Then they run, <laughs> but it's impossible. Or Uh, they make kind of a um, competition, and okay, we will start digging, like by shoveling, and this person, 포크레인을 사용해서 막 파는데, 이쪽은 막 삽질, 해서 뭐 누가 이기나, 이런 거, 하, 너무 웃기면서도, it's silly, 하하하, <laughs> it's silly, like this. 아니면 웃긴 표정 지으면서 코미디언이 막 나와서 뭘 했다. Physical comedy라고 하죠? 막 넘어지고 막 이런 거. Then, ha, that's silly, 이렇게 할수 있어요. Okay, uh, the next one, beautiful and gorgeous. It means a really, really attractive, pretty. So pretty. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Here, pretty and attractive or beautiful, gorgeous. Or you can even say like hot, well she's hot, or smoking hot. Well sometimes you don't uh, write G, but sometimes you can write G as well. But 그냥 평상시에 얘기할 때는 smoking hot 이렇게 안 하고요. Smoking hot 이렇게 발음을 해줘요. 너무 뜨거워. 너무 막 핫한 여자야. 아가씨. 그래서 막 김이 모락모락 나는 거예요. 너무 예뻐서. 이럴 때, she's smoking hot. 이렇게 할수 있죠? 아, 요거, 여기까지 했고요. 여기서 잠깐, 여기 제가 hilarious까지 하고 하나를 안 했는데, 뭐가 있냐면, 웃기다의 표현으로서 이런 게 있는가 하면, 또 weird의 뜻으로 funny를 쓸 수가 있어요. 이상하다. That's a bit funny. 이렇게. So, weird. Well, I'm kind of sorry because I always uh, take examples like from very old movies or old songs. You know, SES is kind of down the hill now. Well, they are not as popular as before. But when they were really popular, uh, one of their songs was like, uh, Funny how I feel for you. 이런 게 있었어요. 기억나세요? 그러니까 막 이렇게 막 요정 같이 하고 나와가지고 Funny how I feel for you. 내가 이런 감정을 너에게 느끼다니 우습기도 하여라? 이게 아니고 근데 그때 사람들이 왜 가사가 내가 널 좋아하는데 그게 왜 우습지? 근데 그게 우습다의 funny로 쓴게 아니고요. 참 이상하다. 믿을 수 없다. It's unbelievable. It's funny. I can't believe this. 
How can I love you like this? So in that case, funny. 그러면 그런 케이스에는 strange or even odd. Oh, it's odd. 아니면 if you eat something, like, oh, 속이 좀 이상한 것 같아. I feel funny in my stomach. 속이 좀 이상해. 이럴 때도 funny를 쓸수 있어요. 아니, 배가 웃음나? 이건 아니잖아요. 이제 그렇게 쓸 수가 있다는 거죠. Okay, the last one here. Furious. Furious means like mad. You are really, really upset. So, it's angry. Angry. Upset. 매우 화난 걸 말하는 거죠. Upset 같은 경우에는 그냥 화난 것 뿐만이 아니라 속상할 때는 Upset을 써요. 속상하다 영어로 어떻게 할 것인가? Upset 쓰면 돼요. 즉, 평상시에 emotion이 아닌 경우 그럴 때 Upset을 쓰면 돼요. Well, someone is crying. Why are you upset? 그러면 우리는 보통 Upset 하면 Upset equals angry. So I guess uh, you shouldn't use that word in that case. If you see someone, if you see uh, your friend crying, then uh, why are you crying? Or why are you upset? Then upset? Hmm, I don't think it's right word. But actually it is right word. 왜 그렇게? 평상시에 노멀한 이모션이 아닌 경우 무조건 다 upset이 돼요. 속상하다, 화난다, 속상하다의 케이스가 되겠어요. upset 하면. 자, 그리고 이제 매우 화나는 거. 매우 화나는 거. indignant가 있죠? I was indignant. I was very upset. Or even you can say I'm pissed off. It's a kind of taboo. Well, pissed. 뭐 별로 좋은 말은 아니어서 사람들이 아, 학교에서는 가르치면 안 된다. 아, 그렇지만 아, we are studying American English, like conversation. You know, the expressions we can use in daily life. 그래서 제가 이것도 어, 알려드리는 거예요. 열받았다. 이 정도죠? 열받았어. Pissed off. Okay, um, here uh, I want to add one more. Ugly. 못생긴 거. 못생긴 거 여기는 안 나왔는데요. Ugly 하면 like hideous. 그냥 못생긴 게 아니라 매우 못생겼다. Very ugly. Then you can say hideous. Like in the movie Lord of the Rings, there are orcs. 오크족이 있잖아요. Do you think they are just ugly? 그냥 못생기기만 했어요? 아니죠. 심히 망가졌잖아요. 그럴 때 they are hideous 이렇게 말할 수가 있겠어요. Or even monstrous. Okay, so uh, we just checked all the base adjective and strong adjectives here. And now this time we move on to number three. And here uh, we are supposed to listen to the conversation and figure out what words they use. And uh, what do they refer to? Okay, so number one, uh, let's listen to this recording. What did you do last night? We went to the movies. What did you see? Murder in the Park. Was it good? It was absolutely superb. Okay, so what were they talking about? They were talking about the movie and did you uh, hear the title of the movie? Murder in the Park. Oh, isn't it a little bit scary? Well, I don't know why people like scary movies. Well, personally, I, I don't like scary movies. Anyway, so they are talking about this movie, uh, Murder in the Park, and uh, one person asked, like, ah, oh, was it good? So, yes, good is base adjective here. So, 좀 간단한 폼으로 쓰인 거죠? 그래서 good. 그러니까 여기서는 uh, they're talking about the movie. 영화에 대해서 말을 한 거죠. The title is Murder in the Park. 공원에서의 살인. 그러면 it was good. 그리고 또 어떤 adjective가 있었냐면 absolutely superb. Fantastic 했다. Uh, murder in the park, it was great. It was superb, absolutely great. 이런 얘기입니다. 자, 이렇게 해서 단어 정리가 되겠네요. Okay, now let's listen to the second one. Is it true that Liz won the lottery? Yes, she won two million dollars. 
I'll bet she was really happy. Happy? She was absolutely thrilled. Okay, this time, what were they talking about? Well, they were talking about the person, uh, Lids. Well, maybe Lids is their friend, or maybe just some acquaintance. 그냥 아는 사람일 수도 있겠는데요. 자, Lids에 대해서 uh, 뭐라고 얘기하냐? Well, actually, according to their dialogue, Lids won lottery. And how much show is it? Like two million dollars. It's a big money. And they said, like, ah, oh, I bet she must be happy. 정말 즐겁겠다, 행복하겠다 이렇게 얘기하고 있죠. 그래서 uh, they are referring to lids, and for lids, like uh, lids must be happy. Lids는 참 행복하겠다 이런 얘기죠. So they use this base adjective to refer to lids because she won the lottery. Uh, she is happy. And well, the other person said, "Happy? You think she's only happy?" No, she's absolutely thrilled. It's not only just happy, but it's like thrilled. 그냥 해피한 정도 is too basic. 뭔가 we need some strong, strong adjectives. So here, instead of happy, the other person said, Oh, she was absolutely thrilled. Okay, and uh, we just listened to number two, and now let's listen to number three. When I got home, I told my parents that I'd failed the exam. Oh, no. What did they say? My mom was okay, but my dad was really furious. Okay, this time, what was the topic? Uh, it was about exam, yes. And... Uh, But this person says, when I got home, 내가 집에 도착했을 때 이건 거죠? When I got home. 만약에 뭐뭐 하면, 내가 집에 가면 뭘 하겠다. 이렇게 조건을 나타낼 때에는 when이나 if로 시작해서 현재형으로 썼었잖아요. 근데 이것은 아, 조건이 아니죠? 나 내가 직접 집에 갔었을 때 어떤 일이 일어났다. It is about fact, what happened in the past. So, uh, here it's past tense. 가쓸 거예요. 그래서 when I got home, 내가 집에 갔을 때 이런 얘기죠. I told my parents that I failed the exam. Well, my exam, like kind of F, F 받았어요. 그러니까, oh no, what did they say? My mom was okay and my father got really upset. He was really furious. Okay, in this dialogue, what adjectives did they use? Okay and Furious, right? Well, then, uh, what did what did they use these words for? It was about mom and father. So actually, the topic is exam. But here, 형용사를 쓴 이유는 이 엄마 아빠를 묘사하기 위해서 쓴 거죠. 그래서 mom인 경우에는 she was okay. Well, she didn't really care. So she didn't get upset that much. But as for father, my dad, 어떻게 됐냐? Really furious. It's very angry. Well, you can even say he hit the ceiling. 천정을 때렸다? 펄쩍 뛰셨어. 이 정도가 됐어요. 한국말로 펄쩍 뛰셨지. 이렇게. He hit the ceiling. Ceiling을 때렸다. He hit the ceiling. So, uh, for number three, mom and dad. And as for mom, okay. And as for dad, really furious. These are the adjectives they used. Okay, so uh, this time we just list, listened from number one to number three. But as for number four to number six, well, I guess you can use, uh, you can solve these problems yourself. 문제풀이 가서 스스로 한번 해 보실 수 있을 것 같아요. 그럼 이거 스스로 한번 해 보시고요. Uh, okay, I will wrap it up and have a good day. See you next time. Okay, bye bye.